So what are the best WooCommerce plugins for WordPress? And that's a question everyone asked me here on my YouTube channel. And I went on a journey, you know, I looked for some of the best plugins and I came across 10 to 12 plugins that I think are essential for your WooCommerce websites. Now, if you are new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Also, there's a little bell next to it. If you click on that bell, it'll notify you and upload a new video. Now, let's just go ahead and dive into this. Now, first, before we talk about it, this is the Flatsome theme. It's an amazing WooCommerce theme. If you're not using it, I have a full tutorial on it in the description below. I'll talk more about it at the end, but it's really good. All right, so first, let's talk about Beaketing. Now, what is Beaketing? So, Beaketing is a plugin that basically allows those little, you know, those little sales notifications saying, hey, someone bought this, someone bought that. And I'm sure you have seen a lot of websites that use this feature. So, right here, you can see that it has that little somebody bought this and somebody bought that. And it kind of tells your visitors to go purchase it. Now, the great part about this plugin is that it's free, it's easy to use, and you can actually set up like, um, like I guess you say fake ones to kind of encourage a new product. So you know how people are when they see a product that everyone's buying it. Oh my God, I'll go buy it too. So it's more of like a social psychology plugin. It's very interesting and I highly recommend to get it. I have a full tutorial on it in the description below. So Beaketing is a great plugin. Now these don't come in any order. So I'm just kind of just coming across the plugins that I found were really helpful. Next is Aftership. And I do have a tutorial on Aftership. Aftership is very popular on Shopify and it's kind of making its way to WooCommerce. Basically what it does is that you can input tracking information on products so your customers can actually track the products instead of them contacting you. Let's be honest, you don't want your customers to contact you. You just wanna give them the product, take the money and get out, right? So by adding the tracking information, they won't need to, have, uh, need to contact you. So it's a great way to kind of um, reassure your customers that your products, their products are on their way. So Aftership, it is a great plugin. It's free. Uh, they do have a free trial. Uh, you guys can actually download it in the description below. I do have a tutorial on it as well. So they do have a free version right here. Of course, you can add like, you know, like it depends on how big you are. You know, if you're if you're doing 3,900 products a month, well, it's about $113 and that's not a lot of money. You know, 3,900 products for $100, that's not a lot. So be sure to check out Aftership. It is a great plugin for WordPress or WooCommerce. And a big popular one is the WooCommerce product add-ons. Have you ever wanted to add something extra to your products like gift wrapping or like engravements or a logo or anything like that? The WooCommerce product add-ons does that feature. So what it does is basically says, okay, this product right here is $70, but if you want it to be uh, elegantly gift wrapped, you, you'll be charged another $10. And the great part is that it syncs with WooCommerce and it'll update the prices so you can be sure that it's charging the correct amount. So here I just added a shoe, you know, I just put like a 70 bucks and you know, a gift wrapping 15. Now there are so many different versions. You can have check boxes, you can have where they fill in like an engraving, a logo. Um, it, it's super easy to use. I have a full tutorial on this one as well in the description below. So uh, next is the WooCommerce dynamic pricing plugin. Now people have asked me this on my channel and they really weren't sure where to go. Now I do have a tutorial on this one as well. I'm just kind of reminding people, but it is you know one of the best plugins. Basically, what it does is let's say somebody have you ever heard that thing from like uh, J.C. Penney's or like the mall where they say you buy two you get one free, or you buy one you get 50% off, or you buy this and you get that. That is exactly what the WooCommerce dynamic pricing plugin does. So if you want to add some sort of functionality of discounts or some sort of buy one get one free kind of thing, uh, this plugin is how you do it. Um, I know a lot of people ask me about that. So the WooCommerce dynamic pricing plugin will help you with this feature. So next is the WooCommerce multi-step checkout wizard. Now I like this plugin because it's clean. Now by default WooCommerce, it's not the cleanest. I'm going to be very honest with you. The, the checkout process can be a little messy, uh, but with this right here, it makes it like super user friendly and it integrates with your theme and WooCommerce. So here you can see login, coupon, Shipping, done. And people like that, you know, even Chase Bank has done something similar to this. Whenever you go to the Chase Bank and the ATMs, they have like a three-step process because psychologically people know like how how much they have to do because you know, you go to those websites and it makes you go to this and then that and then that and you don't know like where you're going, you just quit. Here, it's like you're only gonna go to these four steps. So it's very helpful and it's a psychological advantage for you because then it's like kind of telling them like, you're only going here and that's it, you know? So it helps customers as well. Next is the Super Socializer plugin. This is a free plugin. Now what this does is that it enables login through social media websites. And I have actually used this plugin. I have a tutorial on it and I use it on my website. So basically what it does is 
Let's say someone wants to log in with Twitter. Let's say someone wants to log in with Facebook. It enables that on your website. In fact, I'll give you a quick example of it. I'll go ahead and log out right here. And I'm just going to give you a quick example because I have it with Facebook on my website. Now, right here, you can see I have it, but I also have it on my, my website. So I don't want people to like just use this. I want it to be user friendly. So right here, click on sign up. And all they need to do is, is click on this right here. And you can also change the icon. You can change whatever you want. So if someone clicks on uh, login with social ID, they can log in with their via Facebook instead of doing all this and get, confirming everything. It can take a long time. So I highly recommend to get the super supervisor. Um, don't get, don't get next end. Okay. Some of you who are watching this might use next end and I feel the developers have abandoned their plugin. You know, um, they didn't update it for like two years and then they recently came back and I'm like, no, 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 no. You messed up. You know, if you have a company that does that, I wouldn't recommend it. So if you're using next end switch to super socializer, it's easier, it's free. And it's just, it's, you can change a lot. So I think this plugin is much better than next end. So next is. And for those of you who don't know what Nextend is, it's also a, um, it's a, it's like a social media login, but it's just not, it's not as good. It's not as good. This, this one's better. Just get this one. Look at the reviews. Look at the reviews. Oof. Very good reviews. And it's GDR compliance. You know, I'm gonna have another video on that one. I disagree with GDR compliancy. You know, I'll talk about more of that in a future video. Next is the email customizer for WooCommerce. Now, I don't recommend the one from WooCommerce because I've used it and it's crap. Like basically you can edit like very few things and I'm like, what the hell? And it's like 80 bucks or something. So when you get it, all you can do is like change a few sections and it's very limited. Now, the email customizer from WooCommerce on Envato Market from this author, CX Themes, allows you to customize a little bit more. So here you can kind of get an example. You can add your social media icons at the top. You can add a logo, new order received. You can make it look really clean. So I recommend this one over the one from WooCommerce because I've personally used the one from WooCommerce and it is really not that good. And it's very limited and I don't even know why they offer it. I When I bought it, I felt like I got scammed. I was like, uh, I can only change these things and this cost me like 50 bucks. This one right here is much cheaper and you can customize a lot more. Next is the Bookly plugin. Now these guys, these guys, I, I gotta be, I gotta hand it to them, but I gotta uh, kind of like you know, hate them. They actually upped their price recently after I was promoting them a lot. So I guess they're getting a lot of sales and they should because it is the best booking uh, plugin for WooCommerce. Now right here you can see they have 20,000 sales with over um, 4.6 out of five positive reviews. Now I like the booking plugin because it's just super clean and it beats WooCommerce's booking plugin by far. I've used the um, the WooCommerce booking and it's just not friendly. So here is an example of what you'll see. So again, it's very user friendly, service, time, details, payment, and done. And I've actually have a tutorial on this one as well in the description below, but this company will give you a demonstration of it and they'll also let you back, uh, log in on the back end to kind of give you a preview of it. And I can vouch for them because their support is better than WooCommerce. I, I don't want to sound like a, a anti WooCommerce person, but I've, I have products that I purchased from WooCommerce and when you submit a ticket, pff, good luck. It's like three days, three days, four days, maybe. So I feel the support from WooCommerce is dangerously lacking. Um, but Bookly is really, really good. So, um, it's very simple, very user friendly. It is $89. It is a little bit more expensive. But I like it because um, it, it works even better on mobile devices. So I've used it on mobile and it's like the simplicity of it. It's like bam, 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 done. I'm like, dude, this is easy. It is so easy and it's very clean and it's super responsive. So, um, you know, try it for yourself, you know, uh, just check it out. Um, I have a tutorial on it. You guys can purchase it as well. There's a link below. They also have extensions for it as too. They have like 30 extensions for this thing. So like here's the demo. You can see the demo right there. You see it, how like how user friendly it is on the mobile device. They have done a really good job with that. Look at that next, and then there you go. So it makes it really easy to book on the phone. Don't use WooCommerce bookings. Just do not use it. As much as I, as much as I, I have a tutorial on WooCommerce bookings, but I don't recommend it because Bookly is much better. And people, I don't want people to have ugly websites. You know, it's, it's WooCommerce booking is very ugly. So check out Bookly. Next is. WooCommerce table rate shipping plugin. And I have a tutorial on this one. This one can be a little bit more complicated, but for those of you who want to basically set certain prices for shipping based off weight or prices or something else, the WooCommerce table rate shipping plugin will help you drastically. 
So this is an example I have right here. So for example, anything between the price of zero to 100 is gonna cost $10. Anything between the price of zero to or one hundred dollars to two hundred dollars is going to cost thirty dollars, and then here, if you purchase more than two hundred dollars, your shipping's free. So with that, you can kind of you know mix and match, especially if you're selling hard, big stuff like refrigerators or couches. You're going to need. I mean, you might not want to use this because you can kind of have like a I don't know, I don't know what refrigerator companies do or book or bed companies do, but. Um, this right here, you can do it by weight as well. So depending on how much it weighs, you can kind of fix that and configure it. So the WooCommerce Stable Shipping plugin is very good. I do have a tutorial on that in the description below, or you can also go ahead and purchase it from WooCommerce as well. Next is WooCommerce and Facebook. So this will basically take all of your products from your WooCommerce website, and it will whoop, it'll put them all on your Facebook fan page. So by doing that, people can actually click on like buy now and then go directly and check out on your website. It's a great plugin, it's free, and there's no reason why you shouldn't have it, especially if you're running an e-commerce website. Everyone loves free, you know, you gotta get free stuff. You, when it's free, you gotta get it, you know? So uh, check this one out. Now the next one, I will have a tutorial on this in the description below. This is how to set up a drop shipping website. Now, have you ever wanna set it up a drop shipping website with WordPress? And you've heard that word before, dropshipping. What the hell is dropshipping? Well, dropshipping basically takes products from AliExpress, like this right here, and it imports them directly onto your WordPress website. If someone purchases that product, you then go ahead and buy it here, and then AliExpress will ship it to them for free. So, well, not for free, there's a small fee, but you already include that in the cost. So, for example, right here, the plugin is around, I think the plugin's $89. It's $89. Uh, you can use it on multiple domains. However, when you use it on one domain, you have to notify them and they'll actually switch the license to another one. It does take like a day, but uh, if you're running like multiple dropshipping websites, um, you need this plugin. So for example, right here, I have an extension. And what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and say, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and search some of these products right here. Now right here, it's saying, do you wanna go ahead and import all of these products? And in fact, I can even import it to a specific category on my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and check some of these out and say, you know, I want this one, I want that one, and then I can kind of browse around and everything that I click on, it's going to be uploaded. In fact, the reason why AliExpress is better is because you can actually hide the products without EPAC. You can remove the images from the description because they send you like all this manufacturer information that your customers don't need to see. And you can also remove the text. So all I really want is just like, you know, I just want the products. I don't want any of the, the technical stuff that they include. So right here I'm gonna put like dog collars. Now I'm gonna have a tutorial on dropshipping. So if you're new to dropshipping, make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna have a full tutorial on it as well. So again, here are some of the products that you can just go ahead and import. And again, you can import all 42 products or you can go ahead and select each and every one. I will say the extension for uh, AliExpress is a little buggy sometimes. Sometimes you might wanna close your browser and then open it back up. Uh, but um, it's the best auto importer for AliExpress, in fact. If you are running an e-commerce website, uh, experiment. You know, go try AliExpress. You know, the Ali dropshipping plugin makes it really easy. Um, my website right here, girls.com. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick example. Girls.com is a dropshipping website. Now, most people don't give any information on dropshipping websites. It's like taboo. You do not do that. But I really don't care too much. So for example, right here, oh, that's a little, uh, I'll talk about that one at the end. So here I have like t-shirts and everything. And all these products right here are imported from AliExpress. So all I would do is just click on import and it imports it here. I sell it for 16, I buy it over there for four and then they ship it. So I made a $12 profit. So it's a very simple plugin and it's great. So I highly recommend it. It also imports the products images as well. So that is AliExpress. I'll have a tutorial on that in the description below. Be sure to check it out. It's gonna be very big. It's gonna be really big. I'm not gonna leave anything out. It's gonna cover everything from beginning to scratch. I'm also gonna show you how to market it properly. And I've seen a lot of people use like Google AdWords. I'm like, don't use AdWords for dropshipping. It is, you're gonna lose money that way. But people out there just don't know. So uh, I'll let you know about it in the future. It should be up in maybe a month or two. So next is, uh, WooCommerce subscriptions. Now, I do recommend WooCommerce subscriptions because um, it's very simple. So right here, you can see you can make a subscription service for any product you want. You can have a variable product such as like 
um, like a tier kind of membership, or you can just have like a simple subscription membership. So the, uh, basically, if you want to run like a subscription service for something like, you know, bronze, silver, and gold, and maybe it's like a nutrition plan or something, the WooCommerce subscription plugin is really good. In fact, it integrates with Stripe now, and that's a big win because now it doesn't just integrate with PayPal, it integrates with Stripe, and Stripe is way better than PayPal. So uh, I recommend uh, the WooCommerce subscription plugin. It's really, really good. Next is the MailChimp for WooCommerce. And this is the last one besides my other two secret ones. So you guys need this. It's really, you need this. Sorry, I got to stop saying guys. So you need this. So MailChimp for WooCommerce, it basically, um, it allows you to send follow-up emails. It allows people to click a little checkbox and subscribe to your website. And you can collect their information when they buy a product. So the process is very automated. So if you don't have it, you need it. And if you don't use MailChimp, get MailChimp. It's very good. So if you are doing email marketing, I recommend getting MailChimp. It is the best email capture. It's a reminder. It does everything. So it's really good. It also advertises on Facebook and it's it's doing so much more now. It's it's crazy. You know, the, the technology that got into MailChimp from when I first used it like three years ago was nowhere near <laughs> where it's today. Like today, it's, it's really, really good. So those were my plugins. Now I'm gonna introduce you all to uh, two more. These are just optional ones. This right here is the WP opt-in wheel. And as you guys saw before, this basically captures emails. And I showed you all the, the little wheel right there when you went to that website, girls.com. And basically what it does is that it generates coupon codes. It generates all sorts of stuff and it's very friendly. So right here, you can see they have some wheels right here. And I recommend to get it because this will actually auto generate coupon codes on your website through WooCommerce and it'll give them to those clients and it'll actually restrict them for a few hours. So um, those coupon codes are only for that person. And it basically tells you here who actually converted with the plugin. So it's very good because it tells you who's converting, you know, and then once you get the email, let's say this guy converted, you can go ahead and send them an email later. And everyone loves to win prizes and you can input discounts, you can input free shipping, you can input anything that you want on your store. So if you want to offer them a buy two, get one free, if you want to offer a 10% discount, a 30% discount, and you can actually even set up the percentages. So for example, let's say you have a 50% discount, you can put like a 5% chance customers will actually hit that. So it's a very complex plugin, but it's very simple at the same time because it's very simple to use. And there it is. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to try this right now. Let's see what I win here. Try my luck. All right, it's going. Let's see what I win here. Uh, okay, I got a 10% discount, you know, so. And those are actually real statistics. You can actually really set the percentage. So it's it's... It's like the real thing. I, I really felt like uh, when I saw the plug, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to make people lose all the time. It's You can really set percentages and let them do it. So it's really cool. And lastly is member press. Now, I'm sure some of you want to run membership websites. Do not get WooCommerce memberships. It is like, it's, it's, it's not good because the reason why is you have to actually buy the WooCommerce subscriptions and integrate them both together. So WooCommerce memberships, it doesn't basically add a subscription service. So how do you have to add that? Well, they make you buy the other one too. They should have just added both of those together, such as WooCommerce memberships and WooCommerce subscriptions. MemberPress does the same thing. So MemberPress will actually put them both together and it has a lot of other features. You can use it on multiple websites. It works with like Stripe, PayPal, Authorize.net. It has a lot of add-ons for it. And if you want to run a membership website, I highly recommend to get this one. Now, I know these aren't like specific WooCommerce, but we're on the same principle here. You know, they integrate with WooCommerce, they make money, you take money, you, you know, that's basically what business is and everything. So get this one, it has a 14 day money back guarantee. Um, I've used these plugins for a while. You know, I, I specialize mostly in e-commerce. I'm sure you've seen my channel. And uh, WooCommerce memberships is just, it's not, they need to include subscriptions in it. So until they do that, I'm not gonna recommend it. And I will recommend uh, MemberPress because they include both of them. So let me know what you think of my list. Was my list good? Did you like it? Did you think these are helpful? Let me know in the comments below. I think that these plugins right here are basically everything that you need. Now, if you basically want to do things like product customization and you're kind of asking me, you know, should I use uh, a plugin for this or for that? Use Flatsum. With Flatsum, you can decorate the product page. You can decorate the account page. In fact, I'm gonna go over here and go to, actually, let's go to my cart. Oh no, this is good right here. 
So this right here is uh, a checkout. And here I added this in. So you can customize everything. You can customize the product images. You can add CSS to them. And the thing is that uh, you don't need to enter them manually. It already has like options for it. So the theme is just incredible. And people ask me all the time, you know, do you prefer Divi or Elementor for e-commerce? And I said, none of them. Flatsum is way better. Just for example, right here, I'll go to my signup. Just for, this is my signup page, or this is my login page. I'm already advertising stuff right here. So I added a slider to my account page. They can go to my Facebook group and join it right here. They can look at their orders, their downloads, all the stuff right here. And right here we have social icons. It's just, it's user friendly, like it's amazing. So make sure to check out my tutorial on the Flatsum theme. Um, it is the best uh, selling WooCommerce theme on the markets, and it is for a reason. If you go to Nevada Market, it's number one for WooCommerce, and I've used a few, and it's you, you get so much. You get um, like this right here is like a style, so there's like six or seven different styles you can use for products. Also, it comes with like 500 different templates and layouts for you, so you'll never have to design anything from scratch. They give you a, uh, it's called the Flotsam Studio, and they give you like, like, 600 templates so you never need to like design anything from scratch like this right here is a template this right here is a template but when you see that you don't really know that this right here is also a template as well so i hope you all enjoyed my list of these plugins and again if you are interested in making an e-commerce website with flatsum i highly recommend it um just do the conversion and switch because i've used a lot of wordpress themes and flatsum uh, came out to me as the best the best woocommerce theme out there on the market so make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to tell your mother about this video, and I will see you all in the next video.